Good morning. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, sharing a word that I picked up from James Montgomery Boyce. And last week we closed on Thursday with the story of Hosea. Hosea is a unique prophet. And in chapter one, God calls him to marry Gomer, who's a prostitute. Well, the story is going to continue today. And after, so Gomer leaves Hosea and she sinks lower and lower in the social scale. And you think he'd just be like, it was a bad idea to marry a prostitute. I knew it from the very beginning, Lord, you know, I, I shouldn't have done that. But she got so low, she became a slave. And then she was sold in the capital city of Samaria. And when the time came for her to be sold on the auction block, Hosea was told by God to buy her. Can you imagine? So one man started the bidding. Can you just picture 12 pieces of silver? Hosea is like, I got 13. Somebody else says 14. He says, I got 15. And the low bidders were starting to drop out. And then 15 pieces and a, a bushel of barley. That's crazy, right? But Hosea buys back Gomer. Then the Lord said to me, this is chapter 3, verse 1, Go and love your wife again, even though she commits adultery with another lover. This will illustrate that the Lord still loves Israel, even though the people have turned to other gods and love and worship them. So I bought her back for 15 pieces of silver and five bushels of barley and a measure of wine. So what's this story all about? Well, at this point, Hosea owns his wife. He gets bought her out of, out of bondage. And he could treat her any way he wanted to. And you know what? He treated her well. He clothed her. She was up there naked. He could have wanted vengeance, but instead, he loved her. And that's just amazing. But I think you're probably ahead of me. There's a whole picture of how God loves us. Does God love us like this? Yeah, at the marketplace of sin. That was us because we were in bondage to sin. We were the person who had been unfaithful. We we're the person doing our own thing. We're the gomer. We're on the auction block. And the world bids for us. Hey, I'll give you this. I'll give you that. Right? And when all seemed lost, God sent Jesus Christ, his one and his only son, into the marketplace. And um, he said, what am I to bid for these poor, hopeless, enslaved sinners? Jesus said, I bid the price of my blood. And the Father said, sold to the Lord Jesus Christ for the price of his blood. There's not going to be another bid for that. That's how much Jesus loves you. At your lowest point, he sees beauty in you. And he paid the price. And there's no one. No one that can offer a higher price. There's no spiritual enemy. There's no person here on earth who could offer a higher price. And so we became his. He took us. He clothed us. Not with dirty robes of our old unrighteousness, which are but filthy rags. But he clothes us with his righteousness. This is how much God loves you. And that is what Jesus did on your behalf. I hope you're inspired. Maybe you'll read the book of Hosea. God bless you. Have a great day.